There's widespread anger tonight after Southern Water asks to increase its bills by 91% over the next six years. Now, Southern Water wants to increase bills by 91% by the year 2030. That's the biggest increase in the country. Thames Water has asked for a 59% increase and South East Water 35%. It all comes amid widespread anger about sewage pollution in the sea and in our rivers. Well, tonight, a new survey by the Consumer Council for Water says public trust in our water companies has never been lower. Juliet Parkin has the details. Getting ready for the summer season. To welcome holidaymakers keen to pitch up and camp out. But this business can't operate without a clean water supply. And water's become a dirty word for residents near Hastings. Well, you can't really run a campsite without a supply of uh, clean water. You can't run a campsite without toilets that flush and also clean seas as well. When you're a seaside tourist destination, people want to come here and get in the water and to not have confidence that they can, I think, has a very detrimental effect on all our businesses. It's been a turbulent year for customers on the south coast. A protest was held on Brighton Beach at the weekend, calling for an end to continued sewage discharges. A burst main cut off supplies in St Leonard's and Hastings on the May Day weekend. And the town suffered major flooding last year. Customers have had enough. It just shouldn't be happening at all. There shouldn't be any sewage in the water. This is like a seaside resort, so you should be able to swim in it. You know, they're saying now, oh, we've got to put bills up to... Uh invest in the infrastructure. Well, the whole point is that they should have been investing all along. The whole history of this privatisation has been unacceptable and it's been allowed. A lot of people, well, a few people making a lot of money and then apparently we're now going to have to pay. So, no, it, it, none of it's acceptable. The latest survey shows customer satisfaction at record lows. 65% said they were satisfied with sewerage services. That's down 14%, the lowest score ever. Just half agreed their water company cares about the service it provides. That's down 14%. And 33% said they were satisfied with efforts to protect the environment, down 8%. It is dissatisfaction that is permeating through every measure that we look at. So it's the overall trust. It's the affordability of bills. It's the value for money. It's the care for the environment. It's trusting the companies to actually do the right thing. Southern Water says they recognise that their performance hasn't been at the level customers rightfully expect and says they're keen to work with bill payers as they move forward to deliver ambitious plans. But with bills set for the biggest price hike of all companies by 2030, those plans will need to be crystal clear. Juliet Park in BBC South East Today, Hastings. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin is here with us now. Yvette, clearly no one wants to see their bills going up, do they? But the water companies do insist they need that money in order to make the improvements everyone's demanding. Well, absolutely, they do. But as far as those bill rides are concerned, it's up to Ofwat. Um, Ofwat will tell Southern Water how much they can charge. And Southern isn't overly happy with the way the 91% price rise figure has been presented because they're saying that it takes into account predicted inflation rates, which may or not be correct. But at the end of the day, there's a much bigger problem facing facing Southern Water, and that is the trust issue that you heard there. Now, in the future, scientists say that we are going to have serious water shortages if things continue the way they are with climate change and with population growth. Now, the companies need to do a lot to, to make sure that we use less water. That is one of their priorities. The other things that they're talking about is the infrastructure. But the, the thing with using less water, that's going to be cheap for them. But without that trust, they're not going to get us using that less water as, as things stand. Now, we've got the election coming up, and I think the, the Environment Agency, the people and the water companies, they want a whole rethink of how the water situation is, how the, uh, the industry is, is, is working and how it's regulated too. It'll be interesting to see how bigger feature of the campaign that mm. becomes. Yvette, thank you very much.